One. Hold on, hold on. We need, need at least one more person over there. Yeah. And one over here. But Robin's here. Stand up, Robin. <laughs> Whoa! All right, two, you all right? I'm all right. Ready? Test. One, two, one, two, two three. Oh, oh come on. Bring, bring it in. Bring it in. Bring it in. Remember the flip there? Yep. Yeah. Three right ball. There. Okay. Stop. All right, that was actually easier than I thought. Good evening. He's standing there watching. It didn't feel that light last time. Well, we've got probably 500 pounds out of it right now and everything's off of it. All right, now we just cut the blanket out. Yeah, now what we need to do. Well, then once you get it yeah. in that corner there. What is that piece of wood in the corner? All right, all right. All right, just sliding now, so. This begins the East Troy Railroad Museum where I play. Uh, this begins the console project, the Spartan console. What I'm going to do is I'm going to install the artisan MIDI boards and uh, we're going to eventually play this here at the museum as a virtual organ to start with. Uh, the Dairyland Theater Organ Society does have plans to put pipes on this instrument sometime off in the future when they get done with uh, their current uh, Geneva Theater project. But uh, I'll be doing the wiring of the MIDI boards. They're going to be uh, that uh, slotted uh, cabinet there originally had Z-Tronics relay boards in it. They're, they're of course taken out. But uh, I'll be installing the artisan boards down there. And that'll be a start. And I'm still playing my ELX-1 on their dinner train events which is over there in the corner. So this should be a, a, an interesting and fun project. So basically here, I, here is how I plan to lay out the input boards. I'll probably drill a hole in between these for the, the wires to pass through that wire into the inputs. Each one of these boards has 64 inputs, but I only need uh, two boards will be 61 inputs. One board will be 32 inputs and that leaves um, plenty of spares left for stop keys and pistons. Uh, to go on this. Um, I'm going to use all 12 pistons as generals, uh, 12 generals, but um, somewhere in here I plan to see if I can uh, put in a general cancel that uh, cancels all the stops. Um, I'll have to figure that out once we get going, but for now uh, my chore is to, to probably take out some of this stuff like this telephone punch down block. I'll take that out uh, as it, it, it's not going to be needed. Um, here are the cables that come. Uh, here's the, uh, the solo, the accompaniment, and the pedal that goes up to the keyboards. And that's all in these four cables down here. So I have to sort out which cable is which. Two of them are, are you know, these are 25 pair telephone cables. So 25, that's 50, and you have a 61 note, so that, that leaves uh, uh, 12 um, that will need to be uh, made up in another cable. So I have to figure out which cables have the makeup wires in it so I can figure out uh, how I'm going to string these cables. Like I say, I'm hoping to, to run these 
behind and through holes uh, rather than running them over or trying to run them up from below which would be a little bit more sloppy but right now I got to figure out what's what's actually going where I need to know where the stop keys all come out I'm assuming that maybe this these cables involve all of the stop keys um, so I'll have to I'll have to ring that out I'll use my meter to ring it out so that'll take some time uh, I can of course mount the boards right away uh, that that shouldn't be a problem Well, this is about as far as I've got with it. I'm going to quit for today and resume another day. But these uh, telephone cables are 25 pair, and uh, meaning there's 50 wires. And of course, uh, an organ keyboard is 61. So, in other words, here are the 50 wires that go to the solo manual, and here are the remaining 11 wires that completed to 61. I had to ring all this out. It wasn't too difficult. Telephone uh, uh, color coding is in pairs, uh, starting with uh, white, white with blue first, and then blue with white, white with orange, and then orange with white, and it just goes on that way. It's pretty easy to figure out, except that what I have to remember is the person who originally wired these spreaders got a couple of the pairs mixed up. In other words, instead of white with blue as uh, being the first wire, he had blue with white, except it wasn't that color. But he, he reversed the pairs. I think down in the pedal, mostly, I found a couple of pairs that were reversed. So before I wire them into these uh, 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 inputs, I have to make sure that I've got the right wire and the right number. Uh, because I can't necessarily follow the, the pair colors. So that's as far as I'm going to get with this today. Uh, there's a lot of work to be done yet, but at least I got the input boards mounted. I've got these wires all traced out. The next step is, is I have to find out where the stop key wires are and, and where they're coming out. I suspect it's in these cables here, but uh, I'm not sure yet. But I'll figure that out the next time I work on this uh, project. So that'll be it for now.